What are you doing, Gray? Are you painting a spider web? Are you painting a spider web? Yeah. So I found this activity on Busy Toddler. <laughs> it's an Instagram page and also um, a website. And they just post really cool activities to do with kids. Porter's hanging out with me. I thought I would give him a paintbrush and have him paint, but he just wanted to eat it. So he's not painting. We're just doing gray today. <laughs> what are you doing, gray? I'm painting a spider web. Are you painting a spider web? You want a different color now? Yeah. Okay, what color do you want now? So I just used, we have construction paper. I just used painter's tape to make the web. You want one? We have these Crayola washable paints that I got off Amazon. We've been using these. Say hi, camera. Porter is very sad. I think he's just exhausted. He's so tired. Sorry, I had to change colors. Gray's now playing with, painting with black now. So anyway, I found this on Busy Toddler. It's like one of the Halloween activities to do and it looked pretty simple. So I thought I'd give it a go. Um, Gray seems to really like it. We'll see how it turns out once I take all the paint off or all the tape off. Hopefully it'll come off. I did use construction paper. You're supposed to use like a uh, like cardboard box. And I was like, well, we have so much construction paper. I'll just try and use that. But I don't know if, if it'll come off or not. I guess we'll see. Otherwise, I'll just keep the paint on. And Gray's doing that. Also, we already did a photo shoot this morning. Gray turns three and a half today. So he is three and a half years old now. It's his half birthday. And so we did a photo shoot. So I will input pictures here from that. It's crazy to see how much Gray has changed just in a year. I will post pictures here of Grayson at his two and a half photo shoot. And he just looks so much bigger. Anyway, I'm just trying to keep the kids busy. It's supposed to be the hottest day of the month this today. It's like gonna be 85. And so, we are just hanging out outside. I thought this would be a good outside activity with our paint. And then I don't have to clean up inside. I just, it's washable, so it's easy to come off. I've already had several paint on me and it's come off pretty easily. You want yellow now? Okay, and your gray one's yellow now, so we're gonna move on to yellow. Um, so yeah, that's just what we're doing this morning and it's almost nap time, thank goodness. So kind of what spurred this whole activity on is Gray had to miss preschool all last week. They were in close contact with someone who tested positive for COVID. So the whole class had to quarantine and he finally goes back tomorrow, thank goodness. But this past week they were supposed to learn about spiders and do like spider crafts and stuff. And since he didn't go, he didn't get to do that. So I thought we would do a spider craft of our own. And um, he actually seems to really like it. So he's done blue, orange, white, black, and now he's on to yellow. And yeah, yellow, good job. He's got a little bit on his legs and stuff, but again, it is washable and we're gonna do bath night tonight. So not that big of a deal. Porter is over here playing with the lawnmower. He's finally not crying, thank goodness. There's Anthony, he's inside. We are almost done with the lattice. We're just working on the back now, doing finishing touches. We've moved some of the furniture back on. What color do you want now? What color do you want now? Red. Oh, you want red now? Okay. Okay, so excuse my messy playroom, but I wanted to show how the spider web turned out. So I took off all the blue tape, which is a little harder because I used like construction paper and I should have just used like a cardboard box like they suggested, but I was able to get it all off. And then I drew a little spider in the middle and it turned out really cute. So here it is. I keep trying to hang it like on the wall, but all of the, uh, the tape won't hold it. Like it's too big. So it's just here on the floor. I'll probably end up throwing it out sometime soon because it's just big and takes up a lot of space but Grayson loved painting it. I did another activity with him yesterday. I may have a snapchat video of it. Um, if I do I'll put that here. Mm -hmm. What did you find? A spider. A spider? Mm -hmm. Okay where does the spider go? Right there. Oh right there. Good job. Go find more. 
I drew like a bunch of different Halloween symbols and then I hid sticky notes of those same symbols around the house and he had to go find them and then match them to the matching symbol. I thought he would be really into it, but he did like, he did it for a while and then he just got tired of it and he actually didn't even end up finding all the sticky notes because he just got tired of it. So I was surprised. I thought he would be into that one, but he was really into the painting. So more into painting than the sticky notes. But yeah, I just followed this Instagram account. It's called Busy Toddler and she just comes up with different uh, activities for toddlers and then around the holidays she comes up with like holiday specific ones so if you're looking for ideas of at-home activities with your kids I would definitely suggest following her um, because she has a lot of good ideas and she has a website that has like lists and lists of activities that she has posted throughout the years so um, yeah definitely go give it a look I'm not that creative and playing with paint kind of stresses me out so I don't know <laughs> how many of those activities I will do but if I'm feeling like adventurous, then I'll do an activity here and there. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how that turned out. And um, I think I'm gonna close out this vlog. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.